Hey everybody, listen, just getting back from uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana, um, uh, working alongside uh, Coach Corey Gibson uh, as a character coach for the staff and the uh, uh, the players as well. Um, listen, man, we I enjoyed myself. I, I, we, we, man, I've never seen uh, coaching staff and uh, players uh, working for each other. Um, such, um, I, I mean, the unity uh, that's uh, that's built into that that space, man, is incredible. You know what I'm saying? So, so here's what I want to talk to you about. Uh, we experienced uh, uh, victory, some good victories, man. And uh, the, the excitement, you know, in the air and the high fives, man, and uh, the laughter and the chants. Um, but, but we also experienced defeat. Uh, that brought on some tears and sad faces and silence uh, that that hit hard. So I want I want I want to put this whole thing about basketball and defeat in a bigger context, and that's the game of life and a legacy you ought to strive for. Uh, and that's the legacy of love, okay? I, I know defeat can be hard to accept, especially, man, when expectations are so high. But let me give you a victory that I see and a legacy that you can leave behind. It is the legacy of love. Love for the game, man. Love for hard work. Love for making a sacrifice, man. Love for serving your teammates and your coaches and, I mean, and everybody that's involved. That's the greatest legacy you can leave behind. You know what I'm saying? Let me give it to you like this. Game ain't over. It ain't over. Wipe the tears away. As a matter of fact, I, here's what I say about tears. God can take your teardrops and turn them into holy windex so you can see life a little bit clearer. Game ain't over. My 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 thing, my thing as a used to be baller is to leave a living legacy of loving the Lord with love. Amen. Amen. So the game ain't over. And I, I'll be talking about this uh, for years to come because I understand at, at, at age 66 that basketball is a lifestyle, but it's not life. God is life. And once you understand that, that that defeat is only like a First half, man, there's another half and another half. <laughs> it ain't over, man. And I'm so full of, of happiness and joy and feeling the whole and total. It's, it's, it's incredible, man. Let me tell y'all something. Emmanuel Hansel is incredible and phenomenal. He is showing us how to become with one arm, playing basketball, how to soar beyond limitations and break barriers. This thing is awesome, man. I'm glad to be a part of it. Hey, listen, my sermon title for, <coughs> excuse me, for tomorrow is this, um, the experience of love. Let me ask you a question. Can you really experience love or can you love somebody um, totally if you don't understand them totally? You don't have all the facts. Okay? All right. Tomorrow, set your clocks. Move them up. All right? So you won't miss um, this sermon. I think it's one of, I think it's, I think it's a turning point for at least First Missionary Baptist Church. Okay? Uh, you are somebody. Yes. I love you all. Okay. God bless you. See you tomorrow.